Oh, God, I'm going to have to go and kill that guy over there. Look at that, though. Look, I mean, look, that's that does look gorgeous. But by God, that place is burning badly. Right, we're going to sneak up on this fella and kill him. Watch him turn around at the last minute, and I'm dead. We're going to snuff out one human light source. Whoa! Oh, God damn! <laughs> Turn around just at the wrong time. I'm going to get a better bow from your troubles here, though. Will you sod off? Right, he's surrendering. Headshot. Smack! <laughs> Revenge! Right, get that arrow back. A cumin bow. I don't know if I've got the strength to, um, to draw that, but I'm having it. Groshen, hair meat, 25 hunting arrows, I'll take that. I'll take the leather gloves, there'll be some better protection. A Nighthawk potion, piercing arrows, venison, silver ring. I don't know if any of this stuff is going to be useful. Right, okay. Let's take a look and get some stuff equipped. I might be able to put a better weapon on here. Maybe marigold is the large wooden stakes growing out the ground. Marigold should be like a pretty yellow or orangey yellow flower. So what does this do? This is 39 damage. This does 74. Can I actually... I don't think I can equip that. No, there must be some minimum strength 13. I'll probably never be able to use that. Shame. I've only got one dagger. Oh well. I'll tell you what, let's put that in the bludgeon section. See another cumin. Wait, did I see... I daren't turn my torch on now. Can I equip the... Better gloves. Just some gloves. Won't let me put them on. Why not? Stab defense. Well, I might as well drop the damn things then. Yeah, there's a big whole bunch of them on the horizon. Let's hope they don't notice me. And let's hope they don't notice their mates. Torch is getting snuffed out. Stealth kill. Got him. I thought I was in trouble when he put his torch out. Right, let's see what he's got on him. What can I have? I'll have that. Hair of the dog potion. Hair meat. Pad foot. That's going to be good. Small armor's kit. Don't think I need any of that. In the cash. And an extra dagger. Right. Inventory. That'll do. Right. Let's put the torch back on. Let's find these damn... It's, it's just comfrey everywhere. Like that stuff. That's that's clover. Red clover. At least that, that does look right. I can recognize that. I don't know why I'm still picking that. Am I crouched? I feel like there's a, a very serious risk of me swearing badly during this. I know what marigolds look like. Maybe I just didn't go far down the hill enough. Is that? No, that's just gravel. 
Oh, hang on. Where's my dog? He was barking at something, wasn't he? Should have paid attention to that. There's nothing there. Oh, you see. Yeah, they do look like marigolds, actually. I'm sorry, Seahorn, I just got that. <laughs> A whole bunch of them on the horizon. All them little lights. A lot of them. Am I still in the right zone? Yeah, so somewhere down here. Unless I'm going to stumble across a bloody garden full of them. This dog's useless. Am I doing something wrong? Chap, can you can you see me doing something wrong or stupid? Or I'm missing something? Because it shouldn't be this... Shouldn't be this sodding hard, surely. Let's follow this path a bit. I mean, there's even nettles growing up the middle of the path. Right, so the dog's barking. Where is he? So he barks and then moves. Doesn't help. Hey, Sharp, look for a fire on the ground in the C section. It's like a campfire thing, you mean? No clues on there. What's this up ahead? Fireflies? This is the first time I've actually seen fireflies in the game, and I know they're there through the main story, but I never saw any. But apparently, if you follow the fireflies in the dark, they lead you to a corpse or, or a grave or something. Maybe they weren't fireflies. Maybe I was just looking at stars through the trees. I don't know. Well, that looks like a fire on the ground. this away. I don't know if... Is this... Oh, there's someone there. Oh, God, there's two. I'm backing off. I'm backing off. It's just a dog. Oh, God. Dog's barking like mad. Dog's found something. The only thing I'm doing wrong is not selling that bloody dog to a Chinese takeaway. <laughs> he has to die. No! Did I get him? Did I hit him? I'm getting murdered. Ah! Oh, screw this. Get him. Get him, pooch. I just slowed him up a bit. I'm injured. I'm, oh, I'm still in combat here. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm hiding, I'm hiding. I'd quite like to loot that body, but uh, his mate's coming. Oh god, his mate's coming all the way over here. You turn around. I don't know if that dog has any impact on my... Oh, shit. It's all gone dark. That might assist me, actually. Is he gone? Oh, he's walking back up. Okay.
Can I not wear their armor for a bit of extra protection? I couldn't put leather gloves on, so I'm guessing it won't let me equip um, chain mail and stuff. I wonder if I should set the damn... Oh, you're joking. Bloody dog growl just as I was getting close. <laughs> Luckily, it's fine. Oh, hang on. Right, these are, these are corpses, right? Yes, yes, these are corpses. Good. I discovered an accident. Right. What's that dog barking at? Oh, loot. Good boy. Have some praise. There's a good doggy. Mm. That's my boy. So what have we got here? Grass and herbs. Marigold, five. Nice. Take all this, in fact. Linen for bandages. Excellent. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to be looking for flowers on the ground. I was supposed to be looking for them in somebody's chest. There's another bag there. That dog will get out of the way. Get out of the way. Preserve of spirits, unknown potion, and wine. Must be able to loot some of this. I need something stealthy. No, it's not, well, it didn't let me wear the leather gloves, Draugr. So I'll tell you what, I'll see if I can loot some of this stuff and see. Like, let's try. Let's try that. And let's try that. I'll take that saber. I don't think I can equip that. And. Six bandages will do instead of linen. Oh, okay. Armor. Um, can't wear that. Can't wear that. So it's I have to go around dressed as a woman. I can wear a silver ring. I'll put that on. So I might get a bit of a charisma bonus. Where's, can I wear two? Nope. A scarf. I don't know if that helps with anything. I need some dark stuff to get this visibility and concealment down. Does that? That really doesn't help there either. Visibility and cons... I think they need to be lower, right? So that's slightly better. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely more of a survival aspect to this rather than combat. My dog stopped barking, so I'm guessing there's nothing more to be had from here. Uh, there's going to be some more bandages down there. Let's go back. All right. So now I know what I'm looking for. Look, fireflies. They're definitely fireflies. But I can't see any trails. Yeah, let's go heading off this way. There's one who loves combat. You're quite conflicted, to be honest. It, it really is a... All I can do is shoot and stealth kill, I think, when it comes to combat. I don't think I can even... Oh, I can wield a club. But, I mean, I've got no skills in it whatsoever, so it's... It's not necessarily a good idea to get involved in that. Run away and shoot them in the face. Is definitely a better tactic. Or, you know, not get seen at all is, is better still. Right, so this is what you need your dog for. The dog runs around searching. I just patrol up and down in the zone. And the dog's supposed to go searching. Let's give him some more food. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. I should probably take this white gear off because that's probably making me more conspicuous. Have some rotten hair meat. Sidekicks. His obedience is good. So let me just try taking that off. Uh, put it back on. That's a scarf. That actually gets my conspicuousness down, so that's good. What happens if I take... Nope. I've got a nightgown here. 
Oh, that's... That actually... It wants to be lower. I'm remembering the stats right. Yeah, it wants to be lower. That's actually an improvement. That's worse. Come on, I'll run around in a 90. Okay, we can do that. And that would be... That's definitely worse. All right. A big white sheet. If it says... If it says... It's better, it's better. Right, come on, dog. Do your job. Anyone see any signs of a... Yes. Campfire? Yes, there's some sort of fire over here. What's he found? He barked. Oh, he barked at some comfrey, did he? Thanks. Yeah, it's one of those games where if you don't like stealth bits, it's this DLC is probably not going to do it for you. I, to be honest, I, I mean, I do like some stealth. Don't get me wrong. I had a moan about, about it earlier, about forced stealth. But uh, I do like some stealth sections in games. Is this, here we go. These are, these are marigolds. Look, that's what I was looking for. Oh, crap. There's like, I'm sure there was a lot more. A lot more army in that scene, in that cutaway. Two more, and we're done. I'll get back and my brother's going to be long dead, isn't he? He'll have bled to death. Poison. Well, that might be useful. Oh, no. Who's that? Linen for bandages. So we need uh, one more piece of linen. Please tell me. I don't have to go wandering off somewhere else. I thought this... Ah, oh, there we go. There's the last marigold. So it looks like they put exactly the right amount of marigolds into the area. And you had to find every single one, which might not be easy in the dark. What's this one up here? Find water for bathing. Treat Samuel. Find three pieces. Of, oh, it could be anywhere in this bloody zone still. Ha. Huh. There's me saying they put just the right amount of marigolds and I find an extra one. Okay. I apologize. Sorry, Warhorse. I, I, you, I was wrong. You're just not made for stealth. I know what you mean. I normally don't have the patience for stealth at all. <laughs> You mean my brother's going to have died of old age? Yeah, there's a, there's a risk of that as well. Okay, I need that dog to go and find... Bloody hell, I mean, everything on the horizon's on fire. And there's scallops. I mean, look at that over there. That's, what, the mines? Something else? There's something else over that way? So I think I'm still looking for this last piece of linen. We just randomly charge around looking for it. There was an accident, which we checked out. I don't suppose it'll be so easy as to be just there. But let's, let's head that way anyway. Could be down the mines. Where's the damn dog? What's he found? That means he's actually found something. He's on the trail or... Oh, right. Another accident. Beer, cracklings, fine wine. Not quite what I was looking for. Is that it? I thought... I thought we'd have done it then. Bollocks. Right, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I think I'm rapidly going off this DLC. 
running around in the dark looking for lost objects with a dog that doesn't know its ass from its elbow. It's not quite my idea of fun. I can't think of any other better ways we could be searching for these things. Let's go into the mine. Which we don't know where it is anymore. Is that lost? Any more fires? Any more clues? I think I need the mine entrance, don't I? What the hell is this? It's a mine shaft. All right. Hmm. I know we need to go into the mine. Where the hell did I leave the entrance? Hey, Kit. <laughs> How's it going? How's my life as a woman? Challenging. Let's just say challenging. Apparently women aren't permitted to uh, to wear armor, to lift swords. They have to sneak around in the dark. With this bloody useless mutt that, that's good for nothing. That's a bit harsh, actually. Is this another different one? We've been to this one, haven't we? That's the stuff I had to drop. Yeah, at the moment, we're, we're trying to find um, some bandages and some water to treat my injured brother with. And this damn dog is under my sodding feet all the time. Every time I try to go and open a box or pick up a herb or anything. And we have to run around in the dark doing it. All we can do is stealth kill and shoot a bow. Yeah, just a little bit sexist. Just a little bit. And it's, it's just, it's, it's getting on my tits now, is this. I've had enough of running around in the bloody dark. I can't remember the way back to, uh, to the mine entrance, which is the problem. On the plus side, it looks gorgeous, but um, that's not, you know, a great deal of comfort. I mean, how long have we... We've been running around in the dark now for about 50 minutes, have we? Trying to find these ingredients. Oh, shit. Right, that's a cumin. The question is, is it just one cumin? Cumin with an Italian accent. I don't, know, I don't think this dog affects your stealth level, but I wouldn't like to bet on it. Gonna turn around and he right as I get. What? Ah, what? It wouldn't stealth kill. Get him, dog. Get him. Bloody. Get him. Ah. Ow. <laughs> so I need to get the bow out now, and I'm gonna die. Dogs interrupted him. That's good. Shoot him in the face. <sighs> I went in there hammering the the. Stealth kill. Maybe my mistake was hammering it. Maybe I need to hold the damn thing down. Because the amount of times they turn around just at the last sodding minute. Anyway. I'll get the bandages. Some cheap wine. Some food. But I can't wear any of this, this armor. I can't disguise myself. Uh, I've got enough arrows, I think. Take that. Nighthawk. Nighthawk potion might be worth using, actually. I might do that. Don't see where the hell we're going. Life in the Middle Ages wasn't that bad for women. They enjoyed a lot more rights than they did in the Renaissance and Enlightenment. What's this? Right, let's take that Nighthawk potion. Um, no, I want to eat it. Wow, that makes a hell of a difference. Okay, so I found a mine shaft with nothing else. Look at that. That is very pretty. 
Let's put that away. I still don't know where the hell I'm going, though. I need to go back down to that bloody mine entrance. Tinker's useless in this game for you, and playing as Henry, my dog is useless as well. Uh, is that uh, is that Dragoon? Is that how I should pronounce your name? Sorry if I got it wrong. Uh, yeah, I I know what you mean. I, I have no interest in in playing Henry and using the, the dog that you get here, either. No interest after this experience. Enough is enough. I mean, he's he's barked at a couple of things. But both, I think both those things were campfires anyway, so I would have seen them and ex and explored them. So no, he's not been he's not been a whole lot of bloody good. There's a hell of a fire raging down there, right? As this, my brother is is he around here somewhere? Yes. Oh great, we're back here. That's something. Can I treat him? Yet? I don't have water. I can't do anything without it. Okay, let's go and get let's go and get that sorted. Hell yeah, that's bright. Right, we should be able to find water in the mine. Okay. The mutt's basically an alarm bell for bandits. You try to sneak up one of them, and they go, "Huh?" <laughs> and looks at the dog that ran in front of you. Yeah, you you they you found that too. Then I find that the damn dog is um. I didn't want the torch. It's under my feet every time I try to pick anything up off the floor or open a box the damn dog runs right in front of my cursor and I end up talking to him instead of uh, opening whatever it was I was trying to open oh water look water this will do apparently not I think it's going to make me go all the way to the back of the mine isn't it I have to stay here Sammy needs me. It feels pretty linear. You know how like Kingdom Come Deliverance is a really non-linear game with so much freedom and open worldiness. Th this bit is is kind of the opposite. I don't want to complain about it too much because there's some nice bits in there as well. But um, we'll see what happens after we finish this section off. Anyway, you swear the dog's secretly trying to screw you over. I'm hoping the dog gets better. The dog's as useful as an ashtray on a motorbike. It's as useful as a chocolate fire guard. It's as useful as a fart in a perfume factory. Okay, well I think I've got... Oh, I didn't get the last bit of linen. But I think I had enough bandages. You're right, Big Duck. He's nearly died of old age and boredom in the time it took me to find all that. Trades' storyline is purposely linear, otherwise he can screw around. When you play this section, Tinker refuses to enter the mines. Yeah, he doesn't go in the mines for me either, so that's obviously intentional. Um, yeah, and I know when I say linear, I mean I couldn't go off messing around with the whole world, but it's nice when, say, you have to find the marigolds, and there, there isn't like just two distinct clumps at opposite ends of the search area. You know, the, the wild plants growing all over the place. Um, like the water you saw there, I had to go to the specific spot in the mines to the right puddle. I couldn't get it from the other puddle. Uh, stuff like that. You know, that's that's what that's what I mean by it's it's too linear. <laughs> now is there all the water I need? Yeah, pissing down on our heads. <laughs> So has he died in the night? You think supposed to use Tinker to sicker the target to attack first rather than backstab or snipe them and hope the dog helps after they turn towards you? See, I figured if I sent them into attack first, Sammy. it would be harder to then sneak up and attack the, the thing. I don't know. I'll try that in the next one. He's dead, isn't he? Sammy, wake up. Sammy? Sammy, wake up. Wake up. No. Samuel? None of that. You wake up right now. No. It's 
kind of what I expected. Because, well, I mean, I expect him to, to die at some point. No, 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 you can't. You can't do this to me. Sammy, please. But it does mean that wandering around in the dark was completely and utterly no. pointless. No. Tell the story, though. Now let's see if those other assholes actually send help. <laughs> you know, I'm going to check what's in his pockets. He might have had something important in there. Oh well, futile but sad All this ending. death, Tinker. What are we going to do? Do you think anyone survived in the village? Maybe at the castle. <laughs> he might have had twenty marigold and some linen in his pockets. Yo, if he did, I'll be so mad. Is he gone? He's gone. Tinker, heal. What is it? Did you find something, boy? Find out where Tinker is going. Okay, we shall. So about the only time he does something that he's supposed to do is scripted in. I feel like they might as well just release this as a DLC as one massive great big cutscene as like one huge... Like a, a three hour long movie that you could just sit and watch. So I don't feel like my different choices are really making much difference to anything. In fact, it wouldn't need to be three hours long because you wouldn't watch Teresa wandering around in the dark for three quarters of an hour looking for some bloody flowers. What really interested you with the woman DLC was the opportunity to be a woman warrior. Ah, uh, no, it's. I don't think he was. I don't think it was ever going to be like that. It would have. I guess you can be a an assassin. Christ, it's that nope. leg. We found someone. It's Holber. Have we met Holber? Holber. What happened? Why are you shouting here? You'll bring those heathens. Uh, I I have to get out of here and find the others and warn them. It's a bit late for that. How did you survive the attack? I uh, hid at the top of the hill and stayed there until it got dark and the screaming stopped. The whole of Skelets was in flames. I know. I saw it too. I wanted to go to Talmberg to warn them, but when I was climbing down in the dark, I lost my footing and went rolling down like a sack of charcoal. I I'm black and blue all over. You're injured. Can I do anything to help? Got some cheap Something wine. wrong with my leg. Uh, I twisted it when I fell. And I managed to limp here to this path. But now I'm all done in. Okay, we can fix that. Let me have a look at that leg. Maybe I can manage to set it. Uh, all right. But please, be careful. Hmm. It seems you were lucky. It doesn't look like anything's broken. If there was, the skin would be turning blue by now. Keep that leg raised for a while. And when you go, try not to put too much weight on it. Find a branch or a stick to lean on. All Plenty right. of them. Thanks. I reckon I can manage to get up now. But would you help me as far as the road? The going will be easier there. I think I'd stay hidden in the bushes for another day, if it was me. Uh, go on then, let's go I'll together. I'll help you. Lean on me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Does that occasionally. You only get the dagger after I'll manage the... it from here. Oh, sorry, I'll read your comment in a minute. Which way should I go? Go to Tomberg, like the others, and tell them what happened here and to send help. All right. I won't forget your kindness, but what are you going to do now? 
I'll go to the castle to see if anyone survived there. If you're not afraid to go there, you could look around the small holdings near Skelets or the mine works. People took cover wherever they could when the raid started. May God watch over you, Teresa. So we might, if you're looking, wondering why it's so bright here, it's because I've still got the Nighthawk potion on. Um, we might find some more of the refugees that turn up at uh, Ratai later. I don't know. Uh, Dragoon, you only get the dagger after the Cuman invades, meaning you can't stab Scallets to death like Henry can with his takedown move. <laughs> you could mod the game to enable you the perks and lock tech speed to screw around. That would be some weird thing. Uh, Kit, you kind of hope that this would enable you to play the whole game as a woman rather than just being a few extra missions. No, no, definitely not. Um, and it can't change things too much because this is like a flashback. This is how Teresa escaped from Scallets and what she did in the next few days until uh, Henry turns up. When does she meet Henry? Can't remember. Is it down at the mill? Or when it, is it when she goes and rescues him when he goes and tries to bury his parents? It's somewhere in like that. Is this all this all abandoned territory then and locked? No. No. Oh. I thought this would all be uh, locked up. It did say it did say that uh, in the notes that you can go into some houses that weren't otherwise accessible before. To do what? I don't know, but Right, let's see where are we on the map? So I've got to basically go and explore all these places. God, there's a lot. To find traces of survivors. Anyone survived behind the walls? Okay. What we're going to do... There's, there's more to it. I mean, there's, there's enough length to the DLC, I suppose. The other ones were pretty short, and I think we had them finished in one stream. Apart from Band of Bastards, I think that did two. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's kind of a prequel. It's... It's it's interesting, and also I don't know, I don't think it was with the DLC. Maybe just a patch. Maybe it was the DLC, but there's another. There's a big quest for your hanker that you actually play as Henry, I think, and you go through and you talk to your hanker who was in the monastery healing people, and she's got some other quest line to go through there, of which I know nothing. Disappointed with the dogs mechanics. Maybe I'm just using Tinker badly or not understanding how how he works. Maybe I should be setting him on enemies before I sneak up and stab them. Maybe that was the intention. It, it seems a bit counterintuitive to me, but uh, I'll try that on the next stream, I think. He's cute, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Verdict's out on this one yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say